I'm Josh, it's, it's great to be here. We want to invent the future once again together, drawing on a range of voices and perspectives that will help us continue creating happiness around the world where everyone can feel welcome. And that's why we're here at South by Southwest, this, this amazing crossroads of science and art and innovation and business to spark a conversation about tomorrow. As Walt said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And we still believe that today. Now let's talk about the Disney characters who greet our guests in our parks. Our guests cherish these moments. I cherish these moments. They spark such joy and, and happiness with every single interaction. And the more real that we can make our characters feel to you, then the deeper the connections become and the happier you all are. But you know, some characters, they require a little extra imagination when we bring them to life. Particularly those who are really, really big are some that are really small. Let's take Tinkerbell. She's been on the big screen and TV for generations. She even flies over Cinderella Castle each night at Walt Disney World. Well, she's here with me today, but I guarantee that you have never seen her quite like this before. So we're gonna create some happiness in this room right now. Austin, where are you? You introduced me. There is Austin. Right here. Thank you again. Thank you, Thanks thank for you for being up. here. You got it. Uh, I wanna introduce you to my friend, Tinkerbell. <laughs> what? Whoa. Jingle, set me down, please. I'm Excuse sorry me. about that, Tink. You told me, you what told me you? to go A lightly pirate? there. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Well, it's oh, oh. it's good to see you, Tinkerbell. Are all those people out here to see me, Josh? I think they're here to see you. Not, certainly not for me. They're not here to see me. Oh, 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 everyone! Don't you know how to greet a fairy? Come on, clap your hands! I like the sound of that. So, Tink, uh, I want you to meet Austin. Austin was gracious enough, gracious enough to come out back on, on stage. So this is Austin. Oh, hi there, Austin. It's nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you too. Can I call you Tink as well? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> now, Austin, uh, you probably, you've never met Tinkerbell like nope. this before. Okay, never. well, you can ask her anything that you want. Um, anything see. at all. Okay, if, uh, if you insist. Oh, um, so real. Uh, of course I am. I'm a fairy. Um, is this your first time at South by Southwest? Or is there, like, always been a pipeline between Neverland and South by? Oh, I can fly anywhere I want to, really. I was actually busy earlier today. Peter promised that I'd go on a treasure hunt with him. But I got a little bit bored of that because he brought Wendy along. So I thought I'd come here instead. <laughs> I think you made the right choice. Um, I think I did too, and now everyone gets to look at me. So it's a win-win, isn't it? Oh, totally, 100%. Speaking of Peter, <laughs> uh, wondering, you know, I feel like Peter kind of steals some of the limelight for you. You're the one that's always, you know, on the intros to the films and everything. Do you ever? Not you ever, at all. No? He doesn't steal the limelight for me because everyone's too busy looking at me already. It's not totally a problem agree. at all. <laughs> one more question. Um, why green? All right. Why green? I feel like you always oh. wear green. Well, I don't know. It's my favorite color. What's yours? Mine is blue. Dark blue. Oh, you like blue? I have a friend named Silver Mist. She loves blue, too. <laughs> Austin, thank you. Oh, well, thank you for <laughs> having me with this. This was magical. Good, good sport coming on out here. I'm not going to take that. You can take that with you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Tinkerbell, thank you. I appreciate you yeah. coming today. Oh, no problem at all, Josh. I know you promised me food a little bit later, all right? So I promised tiny tacos, and I expect them later. Uh, all you, right? got, you got it. You got it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Okay, there you go. Tinkerbell. New projects that are pretty far along. The last one that I have for you today, though, is much, much earlier in its development project, which makes process, which makes me much, much more nervous about showing it to you, but we're going to. Uh, Disney's got a long history of using robotics to create characters that tell our stories and really connect with guests. And over the years, we've made tremendous breakthroughs in what those robots can do, going all the way back to Abraham Lincoln rising out of his chair at the 1964 World's Fair. Well, today, I'm excited for you to be the first ones to see our next step forward. 
To help tell that story, I want to welcome up Imagineers Morgan Pope and Tony Dohey. Tony, how are you? Hey, Josh. Morgan, great to see you. Great to see you. All right, now this is the first time that we've talked publicly about this particular project. So I guess we'll get right to it. What do you you got for us today? Okay, well. Are you nervous, by the way? Yes. (laughs) Oh, yes. What do you got? Um, uh, We're chasing after this idea of dynamic robots. And it's because we're inspired by this notion that our characters in our films are so dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, and you need to build robots that are up for anything if you want to match that. So whether that's robots that get hurled 65 feet in the air like this. Thank you for greenlighting that, by the way. (laughs) You got to take a little risk every once in a while. I knew that was going to work. Yeah, okay. Good, I'm glad you did. I did, I did. Um, Or if you want to drop from that same terrifying height, but without the benefit of a net, like this. Pretty cool. Thanks. Pretty cool. Well, so uh, assuming we can build a really tough robot, um, that'd give us a chance to try some of the crazy stuff that our characters in our films uh, do. Yeah, uh, robotics is all about um, precision, yeah. uh, repeatability, you know, inhuman perfection. It, uh, okay, wait. <laughs> characters. Is this supposed to be, is this kind of what it, is this happening? Yeah, no, that, yeah. that's why she has a helmet on. <laughs> okay. We're good. All We're right. good. This is part of the I'll plan. I'll stay out of the <laughs> Yeah, you know, um, our characters are all about personality, right? Um, so, can you imagine what it's like putting on roller skates for the very first time? It's awkward, uh, it's clumsy, it's only terrifying, but ultimately it's exhilarating. Hey. Right? <laughs> hey. um, Nicely done. This is our latest effort in making robots that we think can have an emotional connection with our guests. Um, we are using high performance materials and taking advantage of mechanical scaling effects so she's dynamic and tough, but we're also using motion capture data because we want to make performances that have emotion embedded in them. Yeah, and uh, speaking of which, we're Disney, right? So we're all about emotions. Yes. Um, So can we make an audience actually feel anxious for our little robot here? If we ask her to premiere her big stunt in front of this huge South by Southwest crowd. I say we give it a shot. She does, I gotta say, she looks a little nervous here. She's she's got, she's got it? She's got this. Okay. Got this, all right, all right. right. She's got this. (laughs) <laughs> okay. No. Careful, Josh. You might want to stand. Am I okay? <laughs> I don't All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> Ooh, wee. Wow. So, so um, this is a phase of our development. Actually, in this project where it's our playtime. Yeah because we're really uh, trying to figure out uh, what are the flaws and insecurities in this character that make us really care about her. Yeah, Um, you can think of this as kind of like a backwards machine learning, like we build machines and then we learn from them. And this special little one has already taught us a ton. And one of those biggest lessons is um, try everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, and we do try everything. And I kind of feel the, the personality right here, so that, that's great. And these are the types of risks that we want to take. You guys are amazing. Uh, thank you for being uh, gutsy and coming out and showcasing what we got. Thanks, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Hey, thank you, Josh. Appreciate it. Take care. All right, so uh, I think you believe me when I say that I try to get over to Imagineering as often as I possibly can to hang out uh, with these folks. It's one of the best parts of my job.